Anthropic has just unlocked a new level of AI, and I can't understand why more people aren't paying attention. We're essentially sleepwalking toward level 3 AGI, where much of our daily lives could be controlled by AI agents, and it's happening right in front of us. They've released a model that doesn't just respond, it actively operates your computer, filling out forms, tackling complex tasks, and coding like an expert all completely hands-free. Claude 3.5 with computer use isn't just an upgrade, it's the dawn of a digital revolution. In this video, I'm going to show you the AI-driven future you've been waiting for. So let's dive in. So what's new with these models? First up, Claude Sonnet 3.5, the latest high-performance model designed for top-tier reasoning and coding. If you're familiar with Claude, you already know it's a powerhouse in coding, but now it's even better. From complex problem solving to advanced technical support, Sonnet 3. Five's capabilities are unmatched. Then we have Claude 3.5 Haiku, a lighter, faster model. Think of it as Sonnet 3. Five's nimble sibling ideal for when you need power, but with a focus on efficiency. Whether you need top performance or a quick, capable tool, these two new models have you covered. Let's talk benchmarks. Claude Sonnet 3.5 delivers impressive improvements across the board. In graduate level reasoning, it scores 65%, a jump from 59.4% in the previous version, and outperforms competitors like GPT-4 O-Mini. Undergraduate level knowledge sees Claude leading with 78%, surpassing its previous 75.1%. Haiku also holds its own at 65%. In the coding benchmark, Claude Sun at 3.5 dominates with 93.7%, ahead of GPT-40's 90.2%, showing its clear strength in coding tasks. Even Haiku performs well at 88.1%. For math problem solving, Sun at 3.5 scores 78.3%, close behind Google's Gemini, while Haiku delivers 69.2%. When it comes to the high school math competition, Sonnet 3.5 improves to 16%, nearly doubling its previous score, and Visual Q&A scores 70.4%. In agent-based coding, Sonnet 3.5 achieves 49%, and agentic tool use delivers a strong 69.2% for retail use. Now let's dive into what makes this release truly revolutionary, computer use. Imagine an AI model that doesn't just generate responses, but can actually take action on your computer in real time. With computer use, Claude can move a cursor, click buttons, type into forms handling tasks directly on your screen. This is a first for any major model provider and a huge leap toward real AI assistance that can do more than respond in text. Using the API, developers can instruct Claude to perform repetitive tasks like data entry, CRM navigation, and the form and filling. Equipment company more has come to us to and asked us to work. fill out a it's like vendor having request an extra form. Set of the data I need to, to fill out this form so is scattered demo. in various places on my computer. What we're going to do is ask Claude to look at the spreadsheet, check if an equipment is in there, and if not, move over to the CRM and try and find some more information there. Once it has this data, Claude's going to then fill out the form for us and hopefully transfer the information across to the, the vendor form. The first thing that's going to happen is Claude's going to start taking screenshots of my screen and quickly realizes that the Ant Equipment Company isn't actually in the spreadsheet. So the first thing it does is it swaps over to a CRM and searches for the company we're interested in. Luckily, we get a search match and Claude then starts scrolling through the page looking for all the information it needs to fill out this form. Claude then autonomously starts transferring the information across without me having to do anything. And goes through the, the steps and fills out all the information needed. and then submits the form. This example is representative of a lot of drudge work that people have to do. This is available in the API. We're excited for people to try it and we should expect things to get a lot better over the coming months. Now, how does computer use work? Behind the scenes, it's an impressive setup. Anthropic's API enables Claude to mimic human actions on the screen with cursor movement, clicks, and keyboard input. It even takes screenshots and analyzes the content in real time, all through a virtual, secure environment. To use computer use safely, Anthropic recommends running Claude in a secure, isolated environment like a virtual machine or container. 
This setup ensures sensitive data stays protected and limits any risks. For developers interested in deploying Claude on their systems, it's worth following these best practices. In demo two, so we're going to be showing Claude doing a the next website coding task by actually controlling my laptop. But before we start coding, we need an actual website for Claude to make changes to. So let's ask Claude to navigate to Claude.ai within my Chrome browser and ask Claude within Claude.ai to create a fun 90s themed personal homepage for itself. Claude opens Chrome, searches for Claude.ai, and then types in a prompt asking the other Claude to create a personal homepage for itself. Claude.ai returns some code, and that gets nicely rendered in an artifact on the right-hand side. That looks great, but I want to make a few changes to the website locally on my own computer. Let's ask Claude to download the file and then open it up in VS Code. Claude clicks the Save to File button, opens up VS Code, and then finds the file within my Downloads folder and opens it up. Perfect. Now that the file is up and running, let's ask Claude to start up a server so that we can actually view the file within our browser. Claude opens up the VS Code terminal and tries to start a server. But it hits an error. We don't actually have Python installed on our machine. But that's all right because Claude realizes this by looking at the terminal output and then tries again with Python 3, which we do have installed on our machine. That works. So now the server's up and running. Now that we have the local server started, we can go manually take a look at the website within the browser. And it looks pretty good, but I noticed that there's actually an error in the terminal output, and we also have this missing file icon at the top here. Let's ask Claude to identify this error and then fix it within the file. Claude visually reads the terminal output and then opens up the find and replace tool in VS Code to find the line that's throwing actual error. In this case, we just ask Claude to get rid of the error entirely, so it will just delete the whole line. Then Claude will save the file and automatically rerun the website. So now that the error is gone, let's go take a final look at our website and we can see that the file icon has disappeared and the error is gone as well. Perfect. So that's coding with computer use and Claude. This took a few prompts now, but we can imagine in the future that Claude will be able to do tasks like this end to end. This shows Claude's potential in programming, especially for routine coding tasks, which could save countless hours for developers. Where is this all going? Computer use might just be the beginning. As AI continues to advance, we could see operating systems built specifically to support AI models designed to make interactions smooth and intuitive. Imagine an OS that lets AI directly interact with applications, bypassing the limitations of pixel-based control. This evolution could transform AI assistants into autonomous agents capable of managing complex workflows, integrating directly with applications, and even working with real-time data. As we push the limits of what AI can do, the potential for automation and task management becomes truly boundless. Where is this all going? Computer use might just be the beginning. As AI continues to advance, we could see operating systems built specifically to support AI models designed to make interactions smooth and intuitive. Imagine an OS that lets AI directly interact with applications, bypassing the limitations of pixel-based control. So what do you think? Would you try out the new Claude models? Or are you more of a GPT fan? And if you're a developer, I'd love to know what you think of computer use. What applications do you see? Drop your comments below. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, hit that like button and subscribe for more on the latest in AI tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.